my talk is uh, at the APCCC was mainly focused on clinically not positive uh, prostate cancer. I think at this moment uh, at the AJCC uh, staging, uh, clinically not positive prostate cancer is regarded as stage 4A disease, uh, which is uh, 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 as a stage uh, similar as uh, metastatic disease. But we believe that uh, clinically not positive disease will be at the, at the middle between uh, metastatic disease and locally advanced prostate cancer. So therefore, uh, nowadays, um, the treatment approach for the clinically not positive prostate cancer uh, has uh, two important components. The first one will be the local treatment, and the other one will be the systemic therapy. And certainly, ADT treatment will be the main part uh, for clinically not positive prostate cancer. And now there are ample evidence, uh, although this is not randomized controlled trial, uh, to support local treatment, whereas uh, which is uh, either uh, surgery or more importantly, radiotherapy uh, could uh, improve uh, the oncological outcome in addition to ADT alone for CN1 disease. And now uh, there are also evidence uh, to support uh, the use of uh, systemic therapy, uh, which is uh, 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 for example, AR agents, in particular abiroteron, in combination with uh, ADT, could also associate it with an increase uh, or improvement in over survival. So therefore, nowadays, uh, for clinically not positive prostate cancer, ADT uh, alone may not be adequate. Now, local treatment, uh, either with radiotherapy or surgery, will be uh, also very essential. And systemic therapy intensification, like addition of abiroteron, will also be very important in this uh, particular subgroup. 